Uh, how much ammo have I got? Oh, one shell. <laughs> Welcome back to Resident Evil Zero HD Remaster. Now I noticed something in the last playthrough. Just have to free up some room a second. Uh, leave. In the bath, well, I was watching back some of my footage, and um, in the bathroom there was an empty bottle that I could use for filling up okay. and making Molotov cocktails. Now, there was a little leechy man there, so we're going to have to kind of sidestep him in order to get it. But I think it's worth picking up. Because we will need to kill these guys soon. Now we need to kill him. Oh shit, leeches him. Oh shit, leeches. But he is going to be a bit of a problem. Oh shit. Oh fucking hell. Right next to the door. That's nice. That's nice, guys. Thanks for that. Oh come on, man. Now it's hardly going to seem worth it. Shit. Pick up, thank you. Oh, and now I'm yellow caution. Fuck's sake, we're off to a great start, aren't we? <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to heal him. Hmm, that's that's wonderful. Never mind. Ah, oh, these bloody leeches too. Luckily, when you transition to a different room, they disappear. Okay, but we got the bottle. That's good news. Um, let's see, what can we do? Uh, I think... Yeah, it's full already. Tell you what, let's just... Oh, hello. We've got the kind of like the good and evil bus now, but I think they need to be combined with something, don't they? Oh, have I... Oh, that's no good, is it? Hang on a second, let's just kind of... Let's sort ourselves out a minute. Okay. You, you need to drop this. Yup. Um, do we have a red herb? No, I don't think we do, do we? Can't really see all my items now, to be honest with you. This probably wasn't the best idea to leave it all here. Um, exchange it with you again. So that I can pick up the petrol. Good, good. Combine. Thank you. In fact, I can drop that now. And that. I think, to be honest with you, I'm just going to have to use this. Oh. Um. Did I pick up the right thing? <laughs> no, not going to pick up the right thing. Oh, this is so infuriating. Look, he's... He's clearly going for the bloody first aid spray. Leave that there. I don't think we're ever going to touch that again. Unless we're absolutely desperate for that one bullet. Uh, use. Okay. So are we ready then? Are we ready to go? So I think we're going to fight a boss now. Wait, whose handgun is this? I've got them all mixed up now. Right, so that's Rebecca's. This is Billy's. Okay. Well, she's protected. She's got a grenade launcher. She needs anything more than that, then she, she shouldn't be alive. And we got 41 bullets uh, combined. Okay, we got 45 bullets, and we got uh, 16 shotgun shells. Now, if I can remember where the room is. Do we need to take anything with us? I don't think we need to take anything with us. I think it's out here. Yeah, it's up here. Oh, it's all eerie. Okay. Uh, the machine for working the chain. Start the machine. Yup. Um, I see. Can Rebecca do the crank? 
So I've got the feeling the person that's doing the crank is probably going to be out of action. This is when has we done a boss with two people. There's no way for Rebecca to move it. Okay, so fair enough. So it does have to be Billy then. Because he's a big strong man. He does the manly things. A huge ass ventilation in the shaft there. I don't think I didn't see that. Probably be like a giant crocodile or something. Hello! Thank you! Pick up! Come on! Come on! You can do it! Take the facility key. Yes. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. Oh! It's a giant centipede! Or, you could move. Save her, Billy! Why isn't the cage fallen on its head? Fuck you, millipede! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, it's hurting her. Fuck you! Stop hurting her! She's my lady. Oh, come on, man. She's my lady. Oh, well, they actually reloaded the gun really quickly then. Just fucking die, man. He's dead. Nope. Uh, how much ammo have I got? Oh, one shell. <laughs> Wait, die! I'm gonna get you! Right in the face! Oh, they can kill you. I was actually quite hopeful then, to be honest with you. Hang on, is it, let's see if it's affecting Rick. Oh, well, you can't see Rebecca's health. That's gotta be one of the easiest bosses there is. It didn't do anything Rebecca. to me, really. I mean, you've got to be quite bad at the game for it to affect you. Yes, thank you. Okay. Centurion Discipl... What's that? Disciplinarian. Okay, so we are a bit low on ammo now, to be fair. She's still got the grenade launcher. And she's got a key as well. So that's... Have a gun, there's that key. Oh, it's the fire emblem. So, right, there's two doors I can remember. There's actually a door quite close to here, which we'll go check out first. And then there's the door in the kitchen, kitchen dining area thing. Oh, wrong way. Just look at the big red doors, essentially. I am terrible with direction, but I'm almost certain it's in here. Right, okay. This is where I killed it. Oh, hang on, this isn't. This is a blue motif one, isn't it? Oh, yeah, water motif. Okay. Um, there is a, there is still two doors, I think. I remember what one of them is, but I just have to kind of come across the second one, I guess. There's, hang on a second, just, yeah, Rebecca's health is fine. Sorry, I just had to double check them for a second. Because it was doing damage to her, but apparently it wasn't real damage. Now, I believe it's in here. Because the layout's kind of reversed, isn't it? Who's that dude? Oh. Oh shit! 
So I think that's it. Good, good. Always nice to keep things switched up. Now I notice those zombies, they have kind of a... what well, It looks like a bit like a military uniform, to be honest. I suppose it was a training facility, but I thought it was more like a disciplinary facility thing, really. Okay. What do you mean I can't use this right now? Of course I can use this right now. Oh, it just decided this time you click it, you don't actually use it in the inventory. Wow, you really are picky, aren't you? Right, um... Uh, leave that for a second. We know where it is anyway, it's not too far away. What's this? Uh, lighter fluid. Okay, can I combine that with... Hey! Fair enough. Sink has long since lost its shine. This place presumably hasn't been abandoned that long. It's really a right fucking state, isn't it? This refrigerator is always broken and refuses to open. Stay away from the bloody refrigerators, yeah? Right, just double check there's no items that I have like, I've kind of missed or anything. Right, let's go to the map. Now. Ah, okay, so the the one at the end of the leech hall, I think, is the fire motif one as well. So it'd be worth checking that out. But I'm going to take some... I am going to take some Molotovs with me. Because, well, for starters, I'm low on health, and I don't know what's coming, so... I think it's probably likely to throw something like that at me. For all we know, he's moved. You know, the guy in the um, bathroom. Okay. Yep, pick up the gas tank. Make some Molotovs. Let's see, combine. Oh, yeah, we can drop that then, can't we? Oh, hang on, we'll move away and then drop it, because otherwise we'd pick up the same thing 400 times. Leave. Okay, cool. So we got six now, haven't we? Yeah, and, um... Oh, it's... <sighs> Let's leave that there. We think we need her inventory space, to be honest with you. Come on, Slag. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, shit. Oh, it's a fucking... Of course it's not. This is the clock, isn't it? There's no keyhole anywhere. Top part uh, is engraved in the image of a clock. I'm actually yellow caution now as well. I wonder if, because she's being attacked, I wonder if because I've moved, is she going to come with me? No, she's not. Shit. That's bad. We got separated. Although it looks like it's actually saved her some some health. We got no more shotgun shells, and I'm still carrying around a bloody shotgun. Uh, so fire. Let's have another look at that map then. Uh, we got so at the bottom we've got the the clock door, and we've got the front door. I guess it's worth checking out the top floor again. See, in the other Resident Evil games, they would have color coded doors. So they'd have uh, a colour for a door that hasn't been opened yet, a colour for a door that you have the key to, and a colour for the door that's locked. But here it's just like, nah, nah, screw you, you're going to have to work it out yourself. Hmm, okay. Come on. Okay. Alright, so we actually were split up then. 
Um, let's try this way. Uh, what's this? This is the room that the um, the crows flew into. Ah. Oops. No, <laughs> never mind. Okay, so nothing in here. Ah, oh, I see. I see, okay. I've misread the map. Just kind of have to go around. Oh, a bit of pain in the bum, really. So go back into the lecture hall. Oh, I know where it is now. Yeah, it's, we go down the corridor. I knew it was at the end of a corridor. Go down this corridor here. Now we've got one door that takes us to the winch lift. And the other, and this kind of, just keep going around. And then there's another door. And then, I guess, let me, we can kind of, um, ditch the key. Come on then, last. Or you could move. You don't need this key anymore, because you'd magically know. Throw it away. Yup. Okay. Ah, oh, right, a puzzle. What's this? It's a button of sorts. Ah, shotgun ammo. Yup. Right. Okay. So at least we have that option available to us. I just want to kind of um, explore the room a little bit first before I go pushing chairs around. So no, that's it then. Oh, okay, fair enough. So I guess we push the table um, oh hello is that ammo parabellum okay let's climb over fall back down push it down maybe Can't really see anything. A moose. It's too dark to see clearly. Okay. I guess that's a light. Why didn't it work before? I was pressing it earlier. It didn't work before for some reason. There seems to be something here. Iron needle. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's a memo on the table. Uh, assistant's Director's Diary, September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees, as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? Oh! Right, we did a couple of decent ones. We, sorry, we get a couple of decent ones, though. So I can't complain, I guess. William and Albert, they might have a future. Ah, we all know about William and Albert, don't we? Right, Scholar, Will, Practical AI. Um... They really are opposites, and they're always com um, competitive to everything they do. Sometimes ruthless and cruel. Blah, blah, blah. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me they encouraged the rivalry between the two. Okay. Yep. Well, whatever the orders are orders. Okay, so. Umbrella built a rivalry between them. So we've got the hairpin. What's it for though? Let's have an exam. Um, could be part of some part of some sort of decoration. Sorry, what was that? There was a hole at the base. Okay. It's a clock. It's a clock hand. Of course it's a clock hand. It's not an iron needle. 
So where do I put the clock hand? That is the question. I just hear leather squeezing then. So we'll leave it there and then we'll figure out where we stick this clock hand in the next episode. But until then, ciao!